So uh, you are saying that you have a special machine for Indian consumer? Yes, because um, yeah. you know that uh, Indian, the environment of Indian yeah. market is very high. I mean the environment. Mm -hmm. So for high ambient temperature, we need a special cooling unit for Indian market. Mm -hmm. And also because the power, factory power issue, we have a special compressor because... Hello and welcome back to my channel. Friends, I'm your host and friends, you are watching Engineer On Road. Welcome to Taiwan Machine Tool Show 2024. And now I'm going to take you with one of these companies that is the number one manufacturer in temperature control systems. Today we are going to talk about this. If you have these products or in this kind of business, this video is going to be very important for you. So hello ma'am, how are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, can you introduce yourself and about your company? Okay, I'm Frank Wu from uh, company Harbor. We are the cooler maker in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. We are the number one in Taiwan. And uh, we have our own R&D department uh, to have a very new technology uh, for the cooler, uh, temperature cooler unit, mm -hmm. yeah. Where is your manufacturing facilities? Uh, we are in Taichung, the middle of Taiwan, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what type of products you are manufacturing? Uh, we always make a cooler unit uh, mm -hmm. for a uh, machine tool maker. Mm -hmm. uh, because when the, temp uh, the machine is working, mm -hmm. the temperature will be rise up. You know that uh, uh, all the machine is working for the metal sheet. When, when the uh, spindle is running, the, if the temperature is too high, mm -hmm. there is a heat deformation issue. So we have to make a cooler unit to keep the liquid temperature of machinery mm -hmm. at a certain level. So the, the, the machine, the working of machine can have a very high precision process. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, you are saying that you have a special machine for Indian consumer? Yes, because um, yeah. you know that uh, Indian the environment of Indian market is very high, I mean the environment. So for high ambient temperature, we need a special cooling unit for Indian market. And also because the power, factory power issue, we have a special compressor because, you know, for the industrial purpose, cooler unit, we need a special parts for industrial field. So in Indian market, the power source is uh, sometimes is not so stable. So we have a special compressor for Indian market. So when we export our product to Indian market, we have a special design for Indian market. Yeah. So here are the uh, products. Uh, uh, ah. Can you introduce this product to our viewers? Yes, sure. Uh, this is our new product. This is e DC inverter cooler unit. DC inverter cooler unit can have a special uh, control unit. We design and we develop by ourselves. The control unit is also is a, a smart control because we can have a, a, any kind of uh, sensors for the pre Predictive maintenance, and we have a special compressor. It's a DC inverter compressor. The DC inverter compressor can have a, a can can run depending on the heating load uh, generated by machine. So when the heating load is changing, the rotation speed of compressor is also changing. So the power consumption can be reduced for the. The, our DC inverter cooler unit, we can reduce power uh, consumption cost up to 60, 60 okay. percentage. Yeah. So you are using IE3 motor in this? Uh, uh, DC motor, okay. the inverter motor. Mm -hmm. the, the, the motor speed can change depending on the heating generated, mm -hmm. depending on the cooling capacity of uh, this cooler has to run. Yeah. So, uh, is the is this uh, your software developed by? Yeah, you? this this yeah. this is the this is a kind of a digital uh, control because we can see that uh, there are many many uh, data run. Uh, the the data is from the cooling unit, mm -hmm. so we can see the cooling capacity, the mm -hmm. the rotation of uh, inverter motor. We can see any kind of information, so customer they can. Uh, uh, control or inspection, inspection the cooler unit in any time. Yeah. Okay. So, what type of industry have to use this type of uh, 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 okay. temperature control system? Uh, the DC yeah. inverter cooler unit it is, is designed for high level machine mm -hmm. because you, you know that uh, uh, the machine is working for high precision process. Mm -hmm. For example, the automa 
automation uh, field or the aerospace, mm -hmm. they need a very high precision uh, manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So we can control the liquid temperature with very high accuracy. Mm -hmm. So the DC inverter cooling unit can reduce the co power consumption. Mm -hmm. Also, we can control the temperature mm -hmm. with very high accuracy okay. control. It's a, a, about a plus minus 0.1K. Yeah, this is the control accuracy we can reach. Okay. Yeah. Due to temperature, uh, a lot of deformation takes place in uh, product. So there will be no uh, any deformation in product. Yes, it yes. Will be, there uh, is yeah. no deformation by yeah. the heat generation issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, what you are showcasing here? Uh, okay. is there, now yeah. it's a very new regulation. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, now everybody is about talking about uh, uh, 2050. The 2050, the low and uh, zero carbon emission. So this is a very important issue. So for our cooler unit, like I said, that uh, we can reduce power consumption up to 60 percentage. But uh, we use a lot of uh, refrigerant in our system. The refrigerant will cause the global warming potential issue. So we have to try to reduce the GWP of a refrigerant. Those are the current uh, we are using now, the, the, the current uh, refrigerant. Yes. The GWP value is very high. You can see for R410, R410 it's uh, more than 2000. Mm -hmm. And uh, R407 is about uh, uh, 1774. Mm -hmm. So this is the issue to bring us a global warming issue. Now we have to reduce this issue. So we have our new refrigerant. Mm -hmm. So it's called about, uh, it's called as R513A. So the new one, from current one to the new one, we can reduce carbon emi emission to about uh, uh, 70 percentage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So here is the, your uh, next yeah. product. This area, we just uh, want to tell our customers mm -hmm. how we can reduce the cost for our customers. Because uh, usually we have air condensed cooler unit. With this unit, we have a fan motor to remove, to remove the heat generated in cooler unit. So in the meantime, we have a hot air is hosted by the cooler unit. So you can imagine the factory temperature will rise up. Rise up. So the fa factory temperature will rise up. So this is a cost issue to customer because they need a big air conditioner. So we have our solution uh, for the air cooled type cooler unit or water to water heat exchanger. With these two kind of solution, there is no fan motor. We use the factory the cooling water to remove the heat generated in the unit. So there is no hot air is hosted. So customer they don't need to prepare bigger size air conditioner. So they can reduce the cost of power consumption generated by the air conditioner. In each and every machinery, you are using IE3 motor. What are the advantages of IE3 motors? IE3 motor is high efficiency but low consumption. Okay. Yeah, this is can, this is one of the type we can reduce the power consumption of entire cooler unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, but uh, for even we don't have a, a fan motor uh, running in the cooler unit, mm -hmm. but we still can keep very high temperature control accuracy mm -hmm. plus minus 0.1K. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of them are uh, water to water, water cool type and air condensed cooling type unit. Yeah. So where it can be used? Uh, all are for the machinery. For mm -hmm. uh, for the machinery you can see in this show. Yeah. The working, uh, the the manufacturing for the metal sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's for machine tools. Uh, yeah. For yeah. Ma all are for machine tools. So yeah. So uh, there are a lot of products, uh, if we talk about the business, yeah. uh, do you have uh, any dealer distributed in, in India? Uh, so far we are searching for a good partner in India because we know that uh, a lot of uh, machines made in Taiwan they like, export to India market. Mm -hmm. This is the first issue. The secondly, that we know that uh, India will be a 
world factory in future. So we want to develop this market. So we hope that we can find a good partner in India. Yeah. So this is why uh, we are very in, we are interested in Indian market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, if anyone from India wants to uh, uh, do business with you, yeah. uh, how can they connect with you? Sure, they yeah. can contact us, uh, no problem. Uh, of course, they can search our contact information from our website, or they can uh, contact me with me with this name card. So you want to zoom in? Yeah, this is my name card. So, uh, and any part website www.harvard.com. Yes, yes, and uh, this is my uh, email address also mm -hmm. on the name card. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Uh, what are the uh, warranties, policies, and uh, after sales services? Uh, so far, the warranty yeah. is about one year after delivery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One year, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at last, what do you want to say about your company and about your product to Indian consumer? Of course, we, let, we hope that we can uh, mm -hmm. develop our products in Indian market mm -hmm. with a good business because in future, this will, uh, India will be, like I said, uh, uh, India will be a factory, a uh, world factory in future. Yes, so yes. we see a lot of opportunity there. Mm -hmm. So we would like to uh, Introduce our good products to the, the this market. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.